Hello there. Ministers are right now pushing for facial recognition cameras to be deployed across the country. This should scare us all. George Orwell was only 40 years too early. Just as 2024 approaches, ministers want to see facial recognition cameras deployed across towns and cities in England and Wales. All based on the results of cameras being placed in crime hotspots in South London on December the 7th and 14th, resulting in 17 suspects being arrested, reports The Times. Seven were caught on the 7th of December and ten on the 14th and a further number are also identified as being on the Met's wanted list. Now, according to the report, the system compares the faces of people walking past a mobile camera with a database of mugshots, and if there is a match, then it alerts a police officer who does a human check. And if it is a false alert, the details of anyone who does not match anything on the database is immediately and automatically deleted. And just like speed cameras, the local community must be informed by social media, leaflets and signs that there is a facial camera unit in the area. So all the police really need to do is put out a camera warning on social media every day and put up signs with camera symbols everywhere just like they do with speed camera signs together with newspaper ads and a monthly leaflet drop and they can put them anywhere they want at any time. The policing minister, Chris Philp, says the bugs in the system have been ironed out and that the system is not racially biased. This has a huge potential to be scaled up to catch thousands of wanted dangerous criminals, he said. Anyone not on the watch list has their image deleted immediately, so there are no legitimate concerns about privacy. This technology has been tested by the National Physical Laboratory to ensure accuracy and no bias. And the idea is that the cameras can be used to quickly identify those on wanted lists and get them swiftly arrested, so freeing up police time to investigate more complex matters. I wonder how many social media profile images will be uploaded to the system. So I suppose we'll now see a rapid uptick in the sales of hats, masks and dark glasses. Even though, of course, we'll be told that if we've nothing to hide, then we've got nothing to fear. Now, one place I assume they'll be putting these cameras is at main entry points into the UK, the airports and the seaports, to catch repeat illegal immigration offenders. Like the one reported by The Telegraph, Czech citizen Christopher David. Described as remorseless, he's managed to get into the country illegally at least four times, having arrived legally the first time while we were still in the EU. But he keeps getting deported because of criminal activity, and his presence in the country is not conducive to the public good. Might be down to the dangerous driving, possession of crack and shoplifting and the like. Although I'm surprised he's got a record for shoplifting, given that the police don't seem to regard that as an arrestable crime these days. But being repeatedly thrown out does not deter Mr David. He's even changed his name in the past to get around the system, and he told investigators after his last arrest that this is your government wasting money. I'll be back, back and forth, back and forth. He was last deported in July and was then arrested here last month. All I can say is that crime must definitely pay in the UK and the sentences must be laughable. The Telegraph report says he's expected to serve half of his latest 16-month sentence. After all this, they can't give him a mandatory full sentence? We really are in a woke, bleeding heart, lefty mess, aren't we? There's also the matter of where this uh, gentleman has been living. Has he been illegally sheltered by some dodgy landlord? 
because I somehow doubt he would travel back into the UK to live in a cardboard box on the side of some road. Anyway, cameras at airports might bear a lot of fruit, especially where identifying the big criminal fish is concerned. But I'm not sure this has been thought through properly. Did you know that our prisons are just about at or topping over full capacity? The latest I read was that there are over 88,000 people in our prisons. And in November, the New York Times reported that Britain already has the highest per capita incarceration rate in Western Europe. And many prisons house far more people than they were built for. Wandsworth Prison in London, for example, from which a prisoner facing terrorism charges briefly escaped in September, has a normal capacity of 961, but was housing 1,584 men in May. An independent monitoring report said it was seriously overcrowded, with most men sharing cells designed for single occupancy. So what do we do with the swathes of extra criminals these cameras will supposedly identify? The police will arrest them, they'll get into the court system, and then what? Due to many factors, the court backlogs themselves are growing. The Institute for Government said, As such, the Crown Court is facing a productivity crisis that has continued to increase the backlog. This has increased waiting times, with 28% of cases in the backlog waiting for over a year and 10% waiting over two years. With demand projected to increase, this must change if backlogs are to be cleared and the court system is to operate efficiently. Where do the accused go if there are no remand places to hold them until trial? And further, no prison place for them if they're found guilty? And the House of Commons Library says that the Ministry of Justice projects will need up to 106,300 prison spaces by March 2027. And only 5,400 extra spaces were provided by July this year, of the 20,000 the government committed to provide by the mid-2020s. No wonder we can't hand out full sentences. So the more people these cameras catch, the greater the court backlog and the shorter, if any, sentences are meted out. And the government is releasing prisoners early on licence to free up prison space, as well as delaying non-essential prison maintenance. Now I'll remind you what the New York Times said. Britain already has the highest per capita incarceration rate in Western Europe meaning that either we have stiffer sentences than the rest of Western Europe and imprison more people for minor crimes, or that crime is rampant in this country. And my betting is on the latter, something that would explain the magnet that pulls so many undocumented people into this country who then do their level best to disappear faceless and anonymous into the underground economy where they can make enough dosh for an early retirement in their own country when they go home. But one assumes the government won't be too worried about that. All they want to see is reports of hundreds more criminals being arrested. And what they'll claim is that they've taken the bad people off the streets, when they won't have done, because there are not enough courts and prisons to deal with them all. But those running the ever-increasing number of camera systems will have a field day. Because if there's nowhere to put the extra criminals they catch, what's the real point of thousands, if not tens of thousands, of facial recognition cameras across this country?'